In electrodynamics, we read about conservation of charge, where we saw that we had this kind of equation, right? We had this kind of equation. Whenever you have a, a certain uh, phenomena which involves flow of something like flow of charges or flow of, say, uh, fluid, you have some conservation law. Like here, this is flow of current, flow of charges. So you have a charge conservation law. And whereas you have, in case of fluid, we saw that we had this kind of uh, uh, conservation law. This is conservation of mass of fluid. Similarly, here, when you have a, a discrete states, you have many eigenstates of a system. The probability, say, you have states the eigenstates of a quantum system they are it can be a discrete states or it can be continuous states suppose these are the n states then uh, we write uh, the probability of or the state of the system is written as say c1 psi1 c2 psi2 and so on right so as the time passes on see this is the this is the ket vector describing the quantum state of the system and these are the possible states these are the possible eigenstates c1 square will be the if psi is normalized if this is normalized wave function then c1 square will be the probability density of finding the particle in psi1 state c2 square will be the probability density of finding the particle in psi2 states cn is the cn square will be the probability density of finding the particle in psi n states as the time passes on, these psi1, psi2, psi n may not be changing with time. If we assume that potential energies is not changing with time, then in that case, if potential energy is constant, these eigenstates are stationary states. And hence, psi1, psi2, psi n eigenstates are not changing with time. But these probability amplitude might be changing with time. If suppose initially at t equal to 0, this c1 is very high. Of course, c1 square plus c2 square plus c1 square has to be equal to 1 c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square plus cn square is equal to 1 right in that case if uh, uh, you may have a case that say at t equal to 0 your c1 is high c2 c3 cn may be low but as the time passes on if c1 increases of course other constants will have to decrease because ultimately the sum of the priority density is 1. Priority is a conserved quantity. You may, you must have, particle must be found somewhere. So, particle can be in psi 1, it can be in psi 2, it can be in psi n. So, sum of the priority density has to be 1, right? So, if priority of finding particle in psi 1 increases, it will be at the cost of priority of finding particle in the other states. Or if c1 is falling, then of course the other constants have to increase, right? If priority of finding particle in psi 1 is falling with time, then in that case the priority of finding particle in the other state will increase. Or I can say the priority of finding particle moves from or flows from one state to the other state. If c1 is falling, c2, c3 or cn, one of the constants or more than one of the constants might be increasing, then I'll say probability of finding the particle is flowing from psi 1 to other states. Getting a point? Are you getting a point? If I write this like this, it means priority of finding the particle in psi 1 state is c1 square, in psi 2 state is c2 square, in psi n state is cn square, and some of the priority has to be equal to 1 because particle has to be found somewhere, right? So if one of the constants is falling, the other constant must increase. Or you can say if the priority of finding the particle in one of the state, say psi 1, is falling, then priority of finding the particle in psi 2, psi 3, or psi n must be increasing or that means priority is flowing from one state to the other state but some of the priority has to be constant. So that's what we mean when I say conservation of probability. Here I'll have a, this kind of expression for uh, this we'll, here in quantum mechanics also we'll have this kind of expression. Let's derive the expression which represent conservation of probability or you say flow of probability equation something like equation of continuity we will derive an equation of continuity where uh, which will signify the conservation of probability for that let's write the uh, your Schrodinger wave equation Schrodinger wave equation is 
minus h square by 2m del square psi plus v psi right if i if suppose v the potential is of course potential as a real uh, uh, real uh, quantity it's not imaginary it's never imaginary in fact so if i take the conjugate of this then it will be minus ih cross d psi star by dt or this is h square by 2m v psi star if i multiply the whole equation with say psi star then I can write this and if I multiply here by psi I'll get minus h square by 2m plus v psi sorry psi star right so if I call this 1 and this is 2 and I subtract 1 minus 2 this is going to give me i h psi star d psi by dt psi d psi star by dt or this is equal to minus h square by 2m uh, psi star del square psi minus psi del square psi star or uh, this will be minus h square by 2m del dot psi star del psi and psi del psi star right so um, I will cancel out this two so this is going to be 2 by 2 t of psi psi star and this can be written as del dot h cross by 2 i m psi star minus del psi star okay so this is your priority density we call it rho and this is priority current density which is called j so the equation becomes t rho by dt equals to minus del dot j or del dot j d rho by dt is zero where rho is your psi psi star and j is h cross by 2 i m minus this this is going to be the probability current density this is going to be the probability current density or particle flux density you can say or simply current density simply current density okay so this is the this is the equation which resembles the equation of continuity the equation of continuity uh, if you want to know the physical significance of this equation then I'll advise you you just write uh, the integral form suppose suppose this is going to be the system or say some or uh, uh, I think uh, I have discussed about uh, the significance of this if you see my uh, discussion on um, equation of continuity uh, in uh, where in Maxwell equation you just see that th th those examples it will be very clear to you all right so I leave it upon you to get to know the physical significance of this equation this equation represents conservation of of probability so I leave it a homework on you for you right you just see those um, um, equation of continuity which I discussed in Maxwell equation I don't feel that uh, 
you won't understand you will understand all of this right you will understand i have discussed it very carefully over there okay thank you very much